Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I'm knackered. Just had, just had a little uh, shoulder workout. You know, doing that. Lightweight. I'm killing you, man. Uh, rimmers in boxing. Rimmers, you know, like monitor lizards. Two seconds. Uh, money, you know, like monitor lizards. Uh, got a list here. Uh, I, wonder if you, I wonder what's your top 10 monitor lizards. You know, uh, you know, rimmers. Rimmers in boxing. I'm talking fucking, ooh, I'm getting it right up there. Fucking rimming dirty bastards in the sport of boxing. In at number 10. The Rimmers, Monitor Lizards, Porky's Monitor Lizard Top 10, Andy McCarr. Have you heard this fucking guy on the Scotch Geezer? Have you heard his interviews? He is a fucking Rimmer. The guy's a Monitor Lizard Rimmer. Embarrassing. In at number nine, Spencer Oliver. You know, big old jug ears. Fucking hell, he's rimming on talk sports. Off the charts, you know, it's Armageddon style, isn't it? The Spencer Oliver Grimmer in the number eight. These are, these are what I've picked. These in the number eight, Johnny fucking Nelson. Fucking hell, has anybody ever seen anybody rim as much as him? It's no wonder black people call him an Uncle Tom, isn't it? which is worst insult a black person can say to another black person, but he's known as an Uncle Tom amongst his own community. That's true. That's what people tell me. Black people tell me that. I don't give two fucks what people think. Black people come up to me and say, you know, Johnny Nelson is an Uncle Tom. In at number seven, it's Dave Caldwell. He was dead and buried September 1st last year, wasn't he? Crying his eyes out in bits. That's seven and a half months later, and he's still not addressed the accusations from Nicky Smedley, that Matt, Luke Smedley, and bullying uh, from Ryan Rollinson. You know, that these were all ex-boxers, four ex-boxers there. Three of them going on about bullying. All four of them talking about bullying, but three of them going on about how they stopped at his house and that. I never mentioned it, did I? They mentioned it. I gave them the platform. Caldwell's name were mentioned in the report of me for defamation, but it had done 20,000 views already at the time anyway. So I didn't give a flying fuck. So were I responsible for the billboard? I had an hand in it, yeah. It's all right, I did. And it ain't going to go away. So, but I've got my wings clipped by these here at the moment. So there's more important things to focus on, but it ain't going to go away. And next time I have them on my channel, then lads, then I will. Caldwell's name won't be mentioned. We'll refer to him as Mr. X or somewhere. So that's how we have to go about it. But uh, because of defamation and stuff like that, but. He's got his opportunity to come out, hasn't he, and speak about it. So why aren't he? He's got plenty to say on everything else, and on, on life stories and the Dave Caldwell story and all that. Well, what, about, what about coming and answering this? Can't, can we? So Caldwell, you fucking monitor lizard, you're number seven. Number six, Rimmer, in my opinion, monitor lizard Rimmer. B! Gonna be, could have been, should have been, never been, bait be, creepy be, be yeah. Paul Stilts game we're fucking on to you. Where are the bodies buried been? That's what I want to fucking know. Where are the bodies buried? Let me get some of that reward money. So being you fucking wrong in number six. Number five, Rimmer, fucking monitor lizard Rimmer. Tony, the disappearing man, now the reappearing man, Bellew. Fuck it. Has anybody ever seen a bigger, 
fucking rimmer than Tony fucking Bellew. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Embarrassing. So Tony Bellew, number five. Monitor Lizard Rimmer. Number four. Dazzling Darren Barker. Can he get his tongue any further up Matchroom's arse hole? I mean, has anybody ever seen this guy here? This guy is challenging for, for, for this every single day of his boxing life. Out of control. Not only does he rim match them, he marries one at staff there. Unbelievable. In at number three in the bronze medal position. Coogs. Don't mind Coogs, to be honest, but he has rimmed a lot of people on the inboxes. You know? Dave Allen, Dylan White, Tyson Fury, Joshua, Tony Bellew, you know, all them people. These are my friends in boxing, yeah, because they all do one thing. Views, Eddie Earn as well, six. Do you know what I mean? You can't have favourites in boxing. You've got to be neutral. Otherwise, you get put into orbit. But Coogan's a rimmer, but he's likeable, isn't he, Coogan's? He's in a tight spot, isn't he? So I can understand he's got uh, people's wages to pay, just like we have with Porky's Corner. Not that many people like the couple, but he's got lads who are on decent money. There's a few women and travel to pay and all that. So he says. But, uh, yeah, Coogan, bronze medal, monitor lizard rimmer. Silver medal position for monitor lizardness. Monitor lizardness. Rimmer. It should be Rimmer at fucking century, this guy. He's fat dad. You see the size of him? Big fat cunt. Fucking fatter than I was. No, I'd probably say we're about as big as him. We're probably the same. But he's not willing to put effort in like me, is he? Like up at morning in the morning, six o'clock, out with your dog. Then in that weight room, and then walking after I finish here, and then snooker. I won't go all fucking day. And I hardly eat much. I only have my shakes, don't I? A couple of couple of big dairy milks at night. You know them for a quid about that big. I melt two of them on my tummy and eat. Try and get some weight on. But now fat Dan's got serious issues. When I was four hundred and two pound, I'm like. 157 now, 158, 157. So when I were 245 pound heavier than I am now, which is 17 and a half stone. Well, I, I did, I had lost 18 stone at one point, but it's about 17 and a half now. I've gained, gained a bit of weight, which is good, isn't it? I don't want to be fucking <laughs> like that. I don't have like a fucking skull. But Fat Dan's going to have a heart attack, isn't he? You're going to hear about it. Fat Dan Rayfield killed over and he's stone dead. And what could we have done? Well, you should have had a gastric like Porky, they'll be saying. You should have gone out and fucking paid seven bags out and had a gastric. So, Fat Dan, number two. In gold medal position for rimming, I'm talking monitor lizard Rimming, like that. Bad rimming, fucking, oh. It's the Gad, Gareth A. Davis, you fucking weirdo, and that laptop in your prick. You're a fucking weirdo, fuck. That's what you are, a weirdo. You look even weirder without your fucking bins on your own. And your laptop in, you and Bean. So, Gareth A. Davis, you fucking annoy fuck out of me. Just annoys me to fuck. You know what I mean? Bastard. Yes, I'm one on one today. We're throwing at the old uh, bin. Yeah, so. But, oh, let me just read them out. Read them out again. See if, see, see if I give you 10. Oh, yeah, here we are. Bollocks! Uh, 
I think I did 10. I've got these doubts in the head at the moment every time I do something. I have to double check all the time. Is that fucking first sign of fucking madness? Is it? I can swear off them as they can't I? Is that a first sign of madness? Is it this one? No. No, it isn't, but there's something not fucking right with me. And I'm obviously going fucking crackers, aren't I? So that's about it then, really. I hope you have a great day. And uh, that's all that May, May brings us a good month, because eh? uh, April's a bit wank, isn't it? But okie doke. All right, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep spoiling boxing. Cheers for joining our members area and paying your subs every month. Much appreciated. Boom, boom.